when I was dressed in the finery of a Roman general and Richard was dressed as the emperor of the empire. Yeah! <laughs> so we talked about rugby. He actually said to me, he said, Crow, I've heard you were born in New Zealand, but that you choose to live in Australia, is that correct? Yes! And I said, uh, yes. Uh, born in New Zealand, uh, live in Australia, yep. Yes. Right, right. So I can yell abuse at you about the Wallabies. But I can talk in hushed and respectful tones about the All Blacks. You were a good night out in one man. I think I'm a like you, bro. So we became good friends. And when Richard was dying in 2002, we made an arrangement, as you do, with your good friends when they're in that situation. Let's make an arrangement so we've got something to do, something to look forward to. And we were going to go and see the Wallabies play Ireland at Lansdowne Road. Woo! Unfortunately, Richard died, and I was at the funeral, and I should have just got on the plane and gone home. But I decided to go on a one-man pilgrimage for my friend and go and visit all the places in Ireland that he told me about that I'd never yeah. been to. So I went to Limerick and I had a, a Guinness at Charles and George's pub. I went up to the cliffs of my hair. Went all around. I found myself in Dublin you. on the day of the game. And there was 40,000 people there and there was a grey and misty day and they are all singing the fields of Ath and Rye. But at that time, 2002, the basic expectation was playing against a home nation other than England about 20 minutes of hard tussle, right? And then a uh, cricket score. <laughs> it had been going on for three decades whenever the South Africans, New Zealanders or Australians went there to play. So I wasn't expecting anything else. But actually on that day, nothing went in Australia's way. George Gregan dropped the ball about seven times at the base of the sky. Matthew Burke had four guys on his right, forgot about them, passed back inside to the left. They really, really, really did not do a very good job. And of course,